expert warns of 100 massive volcanoes on the crust of eruption, and no one knows which one is going to be first. Well, in the past few weeks, we've seen all types of strong earthquakes and eruptions around the Pacific Ring of Fire, the latest one being the child of Krakatoa, Anak Krakatoa. And the 100 massive volcanoes that are about to erupt are ready. Which one will be first? Freddie Jordan of Express UK reports on this. One of the world's foremost volcanologists is warning that there are around 100 explosive, quote-unquote, volcanoes around the world, and they could cause devastation at any moment's notice. The further caveat is that no one can be sure which one will blow first. This expert is Professor Stephen Sparks. He's from the University of Bristol, and he was discussing which volcano is currently the world's, world's deadliest. He could not settle on a single one. He told Express that if we're talking about very large eruptions that could have a big global impact, they don't have to be super eruptions to have a big effect on their the surroundings and things like climate and the atmosphere. It's likely to be a volcano that has not had an eruption for a long time, and those volcanoes are very quiet. Nothing much will be happening, so they're quite hard to spot. And I just today uploaded a, a video concerning the supervolcano, which was recently found in Australia. And nobody really knew that it was there was a supervolcano in Australia, and yet there is. So we're always fine. There's, of course, the 90 volcanoes in the continent of Arta Antarctica, which are, uh, a lot of them are active. They're warm, and it could be that that's what's causing the melt of the, the Antarctica ice shelf. So nothing much will be happening, so they're quiet and hard to spot, he says. Some colleagues of his, he says, looked around all the world's volcanoes and they identified those volcanoes that had the possibility or the right characteristics for having a big explosive eruption. And they identified about 100 of them. There are some in Africa, there are others in Turkey, there are in Japan, Indonesia, South America, and Central America. There are quite a lot of them, but we don't really yet have the science to suggest which of the hundred is more likely than any other. Then the news comes as one volcano, Anak Krakatoa, has unleashed devastation in Indonesia in the Pacific Ring of Fire that was on December 22nd, with a vast eruption causing a tsunami that hit Sumatra and Java where uh, quite a number of people lost their lives and 40,000 were displaced. Also, the mountain lost two-thirds of its size by a sinking and splitting and sinking into the ocean. That's what's caused the immense tsunami. The crater peak was brought down from about 1,000 feet to about 300 feet. Uh, he did not, of course, mention the fact that we just recently had an explosion from Etna as well in Italy. And that is also a complex structure of, a, of a, uh, craters of a supervolcano. So yes, they're all over the place. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Kapota. And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.